In today's episode, we're talking about another helium hotspot. This one is Lynx Dot. Uh, there's been talk about this one for a while, um, but I've not covered this on my uh, channel before. And to be honest, with all the other sort of hotspots that have been floating around, I was kind of waiting until they were actually helium approved before I would bring it to the channel. And guess what? They're helium approved. So let's cover it. Let's have a look at the device. Looks pretty smart there. Um, let's have a look. Supporting the growth of the people's network. Anyone who's seen the helium hotspots before, it's all pretty similar. Small device, helium long fi, building the IOT network of tomorrow, designed for helium long fi, and powered by the LoRaWAN technology. Wider coverage, building the IOT network of tomorrow, designed for helium long fi, and powered by the LoRaWAN technology. <laughs> Pretty much, word for word, what's up there? High performance ahead of neighbouring hotspots with a 1.5 GHz quad core CPU that will keep up with the future demands of the IOT Lara 1 network. Devices. And HNT with Linkstock. What is the Linkstock Helium Hotspot? Designed to be elegant and discreet, yet the background part of wireless revolution. The Linkstar Helium Hotspot provides wireless network coverage for Internet of Things devices using long fire plug the hub into an Ethernet connection and it becomes part of the Helium network. Uh, Helium then rewards you in HNT cryptocurrency for providing and validating this wireless network coverage. Linkstar uses a little, as little as 12 watts of energy, so it's not going to cost you a lot of money to run pretty much like all the other Helium hotspots that are out there. This looks pretty smart. Obviously, this is just a 3D generated image. And then the specifications here it's got a 3 DBI antenna, not too bad. Um, the areas that they've covered, the frequencies that they're going to cover, quite a few on this one. There's nothing really much to. It's pretty much the same as the other devices that are out there. Really, use up a little, little bit of power, not too much power. And then the only difference is um, between this and other devices really is how strong the um, antenna is. That's a free DBI. Um, Bob Cat Miner. I think the Bob Cat Miner. I think is about five. Um, so they're all very similar. Oh, that's four. So the Bobcat is four. But anyway, we're talking about the Link Stop, free DBI antenna, helium hotspot onboarding fee included, so you'll be able to onboard it and not have to pay any money. And the first location assert fee is also included, so you can just use it, pay whatever price it is, which to be honest, we don't know yet. And um, yeah, then you're good to go. How big of an area does a link start hotspot cover? That's pretty important. Again, like a lot of the other hotspots, sort of between one and ten miles. It all depends on where you live and what your surroundings are like. Uh, let's go to. I want to show an actual product. Oh, there we go. Pretty sure on their Twitter. There's an actual picture of one. There you go. Yay! We're helium approved. Um, 
There you go. So that's a prototype at the Linkstocks HQ. And looks pretty similar. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I actually like the way it looks. I think it looks pretty smart. Yeah, I quite like that. I quite like it. Obviously, we don't know what the price is. So that's what it actually looks like. Um, yes, yeah, so let's check out the news then, the important part. They're already seeing FCC certified. Um, let's find out what they've actually got to say. See, it's today, July the 28th, July the 28th. This is hot off the press. So, uh, greetings Linkstock community. Here is the announcement you've all been waiting for. As of today, we have been officially approved as a hotspot manufacturer for the Helium Network by the Dewey Mock Manufacturing Oversight Committee. So what does this mean? This means that Linkstock Hotspot has passed the Helium audits, the FCC and CE certifications have been verified and now we have the green light to onboard Linkstock onto Helium Network. So the next steps, over the next few days we will complete our maker account and other steps for onboarding integration. Also we are pushing full steam ahead with the procurement of the remaining components. Some components, oh I haven't highlighted it, oops, sorry. Some components we have already ordered so that we can start manufacturing as soon as possible. So it sounds like they've got obviously some of the components on order and I guess they were waiting for the approval before they committed and purchased more components and now they're going to go ahead. About Linkstock Indoor Hotspot. The Linkstock Indoor Hotspot will provide wireless network coverage for Internet of Things, IOT, devices through Helium LongFi. Helium LongFi is a technology architecture that combines LoRaWAN and the Helium blockchain. Your Linkstock hotspot will then earn HNT through the Helium blockchain. In return for providing data to the LoRaWAN devices, participating in proof of coverage POC, with peers in the local community and offering data transfers. So you basically earn HNT whilst contributing towards the growth of the people's network. Using as little as 10 watts of energy, Linkstock is extremely power efficient and can cover up to 10 miles radius, almost 200 times further than Wi-Fi coverage. All you need to do is set up the Linkstock hotspot from your bedroom window or the highest point within your home to start mining straight away. Linkstock will be available to order in the next week or so, so potentially in the next week you might be able to get an order for this link start. I don't know what the uh, demand is going to be. If it's any, anything like long AP, let's hope they've got a better process for uh, dealing with orders. Um, so those that have signed up to our waitlist, keep your eyes peeled for further information on how to order. So we don't even know what the order process is going to be yet. Thank you for your support. We can't wait for you to get your hands on one of our Hotspots, Team Linkstock. So there you have it. It's not going to be long, and you will hopefully, if you're lucky enough, be able to get your hands on the Linkstock. The one thing it doesn't tell you is the price. Now I would expect it to be around the same sort of price as the Bobcat, maybe $400, um, which is about £350. No, there's no information on the price of uh, the Linkstock. What I would probably do is, uh, for now, I would definitely 
join the waitlist and then you'll be notified when it's uh, available or when it's going to be available I would also probably do their Twitter as well if you are a tweeter a Twitter anyway something to be excited about another another device out there that maybe we might actually get some hotspots before uh, Christmas I mean I'm waiting for my Libra which I ordered end of March I'm waiting on two Bobcats which I ordered end of April so um, yeah it'd be quite exciting to be able to actually get a device uh, before Christmas um, yeah if you found this video useful I'd appreciate a thumbs up hit that notification bell and um, yeah any comments good or bad put down below let me know if you're waiting for a device how long have you been waiting for which ones are you uh, waiting to be delivered are you interested in this device is it something you're gonna potentially uh, go for depending on price um, yeah leave a comment I'd love to see your comments anyway take care and catch you on the next video peace